I went through something as a as a young boy. You know? Can I share about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shucks, we're going over time. Sorry, guys. Yeah, you, uh, you, you go, you go, man. So I, sh- I shared about this on our podcast with Herbie and it, it ties into sexuality, but it's about identity and who I am, who I, I was. So when I was 13 years old, 12 years old actually, I found myself being attracted to another boy. Attracted is the word I use now, but as a 12 year old, I was looking across the table at this boy and I couldn't stop looking at him. You know, and I and I it became a bit of an infatuation. And I didn't tell anybody because I was like, oh, what's this? And no, no one had indoctrinated me of like, oh, being gay is wrong or you shouldn't be attracted to. But I found myself looking at this boy. Anyway, long story short, school had passed. It never ever happened with anyone else. I saw him again at a house party when I was about 18, 19. And it was one of those moments where you walked in, where you walk in, and I looked to my left and I was like, I clocked him and I went, if I look again and I feel something, I'm going to have to call my mum. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked at him again and I didn't feel anything, nothing. And I went, oh, okay. But it still didn't answer my question as, as a 12 year old, why did I look at this boy? Anyway, I knew at that point, I was like, okay, I'm not gay, cool. But what still was that at 12, year, 12 years old? It wasn't until I went overseas in, in London where this revelation came to be and that's why I think we focus too much on sexuality on our kids when we need to give them time to find out who they are. I was 30 years old. My company manager at the Lion King at the time said, you've got three days leave, you need to use it or you're going to lose it. So I went, damn it. And I went, I'm going to go to Croatia. I'm going to go to Croatia. My mum's... My great grandfather came here in the 60s to work in the gum fields up north. My nan had never been back. My mum has never been back. It was my turn to go back and find out about our family. Anyway, this is where it ties into identity. I land in Croatia with the little bit of info that I have. I end up finding my family. I end up finding an, a cousin. The local newspaper wants to, wants to have an interview with me because they're so touched about people coming home because people left Yugoslavia you know, the Bosnian Moors yeah. um, and people coming home is quite rare to to find out where they're from. At this very time that I was learning all this stuff, that boy, his face was popping in my head. I was like, why am I thinking of this boy already? Nothing romantic or anything. And then I clicked. When, when I was young here, as an Afkasi growing up here in South Auckland, I identified with being Basfika but I always yearned for my Croatian side. My mum had one sibling. That one sibling had one, one child. She was a girl, my cousin Whitney. So on my Samoan side, 60, 70 cousins. On my Balangi side, one cousin. I yearned for that male companion that was a Croatian, young Croatian boy, because there's, you know, there's two sides to you if you have biracial. And I realized he was another part of me. He was a Croatian. He was the only other Croatian in my classroom. He was the only other Croatian in my classroom. I don't know if I should say his name. <laughs> but it ends in itch, because every Croatian last name ends in itch. And, and I remembered back then, I was like, I always used to look out for like Croatian names, because my mum said, listen for the itch names. Listen for the itch names. And this is where I might get myself outside. If, I, if, if that same version grew up today, I wonder if I would have made a choice that was not going to actually serve my life because someone said, that's who you are. You're gay because you felt that for that boy. But what if I just needed time and the Lord was going to show me who I was because I was going to be still and know that God, he was God and he was going to show me my truth. So this is what I mean about... Mandate.